health, getting breast milk to babies in need. Joining us today are Tamina Islam, licensed midwife, board treasurer, and volunteer for the Mother's Milk Alliance, and Laurel Franchek, a volunteer with the organization. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, tell us what services, for people who've never heard of the Mother's Milk Alliance, what services do you provide? So Mother's Milk Alliance is a local nonprofit here in Dane County, and we facilitate uh, free human milk, breast milk sharing between families who have an oversupply of breast milk and to families who are in need of it. Um, we try to facilitate the milk to stay free in Dane County specifically. It's in a sustainable model um, and we also try to provide it in a safe way, so offering donor screening for um, women who have an oversupply. So let's talk about how this works because there are two sides here with yes. the donors and the recipients. Yes, so um, a donor um, is a mother who is healthy and has um, a baby who's thriving uh, and has an abundance of milk. Um, a recipient is somebody who, an ideal candidate is somebody who has a temporary need, um, somebody who has troubleshooting those hard first weeks of breastfeeding, uh, either because they have latch problems or that they um, have a delayed onset of milk supply. And so uh, that's how we um, manage. And you hear from yeah. these women because you store the milk, some of the milk, and then yes. triage who gets it. Yes, yes. So I have a freezer in yeah. my home, and um, donors who have been screened drop mm -hmm. off their milk at my house, and uh, recipients, when they are needing milk, just call or and email. And is it free? It is. It's free. Uh, we have costs of the mm -hmm. screening, and so um, just as um, people are able to, they um, make monetary contributions, um, but that's voluntary. Wow. Mm -hmm. So on the donor side, you know, we, somebody who has excess milk will come to one of the volunteer midwives work, uh, volunteering with Mother's Milk Alliance and then go through a health, health screening process and a lab mm -hmm. testing process to ensure that the milk is safe. And so this could be oversupply. It could be someone who's finishing breastfeeding mm -hmm. and has a lot extra. Mm -hmm. Don't throw it away, right? <laughs> exactly. How much need is there in the community? So in 2014, we tracked our numbers and donated over 40,000 ounces of donor human milk, specifically mm -hmm. in Dane County, and the need mm -hmm. keeps growing, and each year we, we facilitate even more milk sharing, so there certainly is a need in that way, and we also are able to provide an opportunity for families who have an oversupply and don't want their milk to go to waste. They find mm -hmm. you know, thousands of ounces in their freezer and want to, to give it to Ma, and so we're always grateful for those contributions. Put a lot of hard work in mm -hmm. to get that milk. And, and we also, um, sometimes there's our uh, there are bereaved mothers who we help support um, that through that loss want to honor the, their baby and support um, families who are in need. And that's probably not something you would think of and it makes perfect mm -hmm. sense. Right. Tamina, Laurel, thank you so much and keep doing the great work in our community. Yeah. I want to let everybody know that I hope that you will join us tonight on NBC 15 News at 10. We are going to share two stories of local moms, one on the donor side and then a mom who receives the donor milk to keep her baby boy healthy. So tune in for that tonight at 10. Thanks so much. Thank you, Lee. Well,